<sighs> Hungry? What's next? Oh. The storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is quite sick, Atreus. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Don't make me do this! Yeah. Ah! 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 
We're through for Steve. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Vanna. Up. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Mm. Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? <laughs> it's okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you, too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. Why? Too big? wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Desu. Sofna. Hathon. Sofna. Sofna. Sofna.
train. What? No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Training is all we ever do, ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. We prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. We'll go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look. Can I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him? Well, I don't recognize that dull expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then. Kratos? Are you joining me? Very. Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumbles. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? 
Tell me your thoughts. We hunt a predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, no, don't! Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. The problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Good boy. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. You suppose he took a shortcut through the realm between realms? No. The stones have not moved. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. He crawled through here. You seem troubled in your sleep. Even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No, it feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No, but it is something more than memory. Hmm. Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. Trento! And we're not alone.
Check on the protection scheme. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well? You were right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? A bear. Mauled. By what? A larger bear. Wounded. The fight destroyed the tree. We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Aha! Trail's on the other side of that gap. If you can clear the way. Oh! Any idea what could have made the lads wander off? We argued. He accuses me of... hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of... otherwise accurate predictions... I do not believe in prophecies. Well... Good. that trail gone. thinking, brother. But Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. Into that cave. Well, 
You know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. Or you can do that. Are these the raiders you rescued the walls from? No. They have not been here long. goes through here. Leads deeper in. There will be more. Well, someone is in the bear's way. Above your fire! <laughs> Look out, brother! Atreus, are you here? Huh. Well, that's for the best. Let's find a way out. Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter, kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. Do you think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. <laughs> you know the lad. Atreus, where are you? <laughs> Well, we found the bear! 
Prayed Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. 
I remember running. There was a bear charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. I, I, I didn't know I could do that. You did not do anything. They overcame you. That is why we must not abandon your training. We do not know the reach of your abilities. And we will be dangerous without discipline to control them. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. I might have killed you. Control. We will take no unnecessary risks. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Are we going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah. Are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. Say the word, brother. So, lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble, yeah. you, perhaps. Seen my share. where we are now. <laughs> What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better.
to. Intent does not matter. Only consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. Fixed it. <laughs> Sometimes I really wish Tyr's temple still worked so we could get out of Midgard. They say Fimblewinter <laughs> affects all realms, lad. Okay, but how could things be any worse than here? Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there. For a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened-upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. The ball. Come in. I have me. You will not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about.
this place. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you? Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah. We know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? 
Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. About time. I've been waiting for this. You're not from here. We got a tradition called our blood payments. It means I get a piece of you for what you took from my family. You'll pick it up. That was Revolver. Now show me this god killer I've heard so much about. I did not seek that fight with your brother. <laughs> I don't care. You warmed up yet? Can't fight without your axe, oh coward! How were you ever a god of war? You insult me holding back like this! You're fucking hopeless! You Spit on my son's memories! I can't believe they lost to you! That's all? You were finally shoving You know my past? The ghost of Sparta thing? Yeah. Then you know what I'm capable of. Show me! Now we got us a fight. Look at you trying to remember your old moves. Stop holding back! Was hoping to see your blade. Guess they don't come when you call. Afraid to get your hands dirty? Let me see the monster inside. You should be better than this! Good. 
Consider your blood debt paid. Be seeing you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we? Oh, now. Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. 
I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. Well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me old near pack of punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold their own. Kind of the point. All set. This'll get you home. One last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection stays busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, fellow. I will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or Raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's why. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tia? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth. From me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but... Now that you know... There's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir.
so we gather your things. Are you ready? Go. Ugh! And keep the change, you bastard! The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. The door didn't see anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? What happened here? So close to home. Our raiders warring with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. More over here. And fresh. Did they all get in while the state was down? That or Odin cocked up the protection spell altogether. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams following me here. <laughs> Whoa, that one's still alive. No, look closer. <sighs> Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. Behind you! Watch out! 
When did this bridge collapse? Oh, a while ago. Wasn't me. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the Giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the Giants' greatest ally. So... Enough! Look out! Well, they are some of the dead rather don't they? Pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. Imagine what the lies found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep going. It's too late. That's right. Set them aflame or they'll just keep coming. Right side, fucker!
Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish as if on cue. <laughs> has gotten rather good at that. <laughs> Yet another grizzly scene. My incoming! <laughs> 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 I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one morning. Oh, no. Brother! <laughs> The raiders store nodes and barging in, and now stalkers spring in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore.
Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on, we can get in this way. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new. <laughs> Hey, that looks interesting. I can't break it. Ah, things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Thimble Winter wears down all things, even stone. What if you used your axe on it? Probably the right idea, hitting the weak spot in that lot. There we go. Come on. You watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir. Can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait! We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here.
What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Oh, that's right. How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention... black smoke and the bleeding earth. But... We can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding elf? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps? Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Tears in Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine? So? What now? Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. Yeah. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. Almost home. Brother, a word. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. 
If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Sparta Farm, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. Breed, is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <sighs> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. Huh. Huh. As you can see, we've settled here in the Realm Between Realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, it's safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you daft prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Do you know this? Hmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? I only got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do.
If the kid's gonna insist on getting taller, best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Found some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Keep her sharp, and she'll keep you alive. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know. What? You just came to stare? Thank you. Hey, come see. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Ooh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you. You just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Nidavellir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So I... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it. Good. Now, 
Release! Still on poison? Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Frostle of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just <gasps> there. That should do it. <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first. <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything, e everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. <laughs> if 
you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Hmm. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water'd be frozen in the second. Brother, do you think freezing it would work? What if you used your axe on it? He was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's gotta be a faster way to get down there. Go! 
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Svartalfon? I lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it Winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them.
Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. fast then how shall we catch it flank it attack from behind good halfway there Gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Yeah! <laughs> 
can uncover that geyser from here? I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tears in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. That earthquake earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow, now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh, they're uh, running away. An alarm. You only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why is that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to you for any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. 
structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things. Oh, in action. Ah. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't Whoa. expect to disturb half the creepy crawlies in Needle Alier. How was I supposed to know they were there? where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? So this lockdown really is because of us? Atreya, hunt? this way. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't. This looks promising, right? That's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. You think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh. That's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off.
Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Darlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following you. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? So, we're going to Derlin's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... Wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the ace here. No, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. 
I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Derlin wrote down directly. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tear! Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. <laughs> Heimdall. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did. Just now. Darling, 
He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. True believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Looks like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. Oh, no, no, no! Oh! 
That one was tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. Think that Drekius would kill the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. back on the track. <gasps> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Hmm, hopefully that's it. Keep going. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. That's way too far. Mimir, tell him left. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. Kraken Hatchling gave you a stone. Kraken? Oh, uh, Diener. Yeah, it covered an algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. On your left! Get up! Father! 
A troll? Said it, little brother. Look out! Find your watcher! <laughs> 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 This place is incredible. So, point the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Ugh. <gasps> 
Nor near chest. Aye, but no seals to destroy or bells to ring. These are different. There's a brazier to the left of the chest. Maybe you can light it. be able to get up there if you help me. <laughs> Great. I'll head across for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. I hope you can make that jump. It's another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye. Might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet to do it for you? Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? found Darlin's mine entrance. Got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold... Horrors.
close. the official entrance to the minus block. But there's got to be another way. Maybe this cave will get us in. This way. Nice. Not a dead end. Come on, let's see where this goes. Ugh, these guys again? Behind you! Look out! <laughs> Where are they all coming from? It certainly smells like we're headed into a mine. I think I can hear the water, too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those wretches were coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close! They just keep coming. It's a bear trap. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. Behind you, incoming. things leave behind is so gross. A small consequence for disturbing the home. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Maybe we can ride this boat thing further into the mine. Worth a shot. I think we're going to be able to get in any other way. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. You do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's a door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. It's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one, too. Your instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before, about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. 
And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword, flux. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. Till we meet again! Look, there's a door just across this gap. Tear could be right there. <laughs> Whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. Water flows blocked. That worked. Let's get to the door. Come on. certainly don't think this is where Tyr currently is. He, he's got to be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ahem, brothers. With Fimblewinter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. We are... the way. There's another door. Maybe that's the one. Not to be discouraging, but it is a mine after all. Namir, that is discouraging. 
did you see that over there? There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look. That should keep the lift fully powered up. We're almost there. Flowing water is burning the thing. Clever. We'll be up there in no time. That's it. Come on. Let's take that lift up. Tear can't be far. New exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in his mind. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. Hmm. Tyr? Whoa! What happened here? They certainly weren't tear. Best look around. Is that a relic? Huh. Clingy's to the wall! 
We gotta knock you down! I feel a breeze. We might be able to get out of here this way. Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we... No, don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. Let's go. Up there. The path keeps going. We'll just have to get across. Wait, is that the same war we've seen before? That works. I do believe we're above where we got off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. Should be clear now. Ready when you are. One more door. That one has to be it. Seems like we'll have to get to it first. We've used water to power the wheels before. Worth the try. Well, that didn't quite work. Something else we can do? Let's keep looking around. There's got to be something else. Quite across. Look for another way. I think I see a crank over here. Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leads a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, what? Damn it! Did you hear that, brothers? 
I don't think we are alone. Ears open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers! Wait! Is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's barred. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bedclothes. I see what we must do. Yeah. Do it then. Trickery is this Odin. What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Stay the way. Brother, let me try. Tear. Tear. Look, you know me, don't you? You. You killed Mimir. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, we, we brought him right back. Yeah. Stay away from me, you monsters. Stop. We need him. Wait. Oh! 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 
Find your son. Listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get, get you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe, I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You? Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... 
I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's... A... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Aren't there names? Call you? I'm afraid. You already know Mimir. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of Spartan come to speak? My mother is the last guy in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. She tries to help people too. You have my sympathies. Just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Please, let me get that. It's the least I can do. Whoa. Why risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment, execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Well, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. Ah! You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Baldur... Baldur is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promise to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir, speak of Baldur. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. Watch out! No. No. It's okay. No. attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I've abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you... 
really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me, that I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. for a good night's rest and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Baldur tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how we fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the Giants are all gone. And how they called me Loki. And finding the shrines... The giants are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... Dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. <laughs> I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ain Hriar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Travels. Did you ever hear the Giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The Giants are... were... a very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. A... treehouse. Lord Tyr! You're really alive! Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. Well, I'll be. 
So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. You hold still! Yep. <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, dear. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr, sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Have a seat over here, and I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space would be unsettling. Do you have a room closet? Yes. But it's where I keep my brooms. That's all I need. To be honest, it's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hardtack. Hardtack. Any sort of humble chips biscuit will do. I with a pinch of salt. Well, I'll see what I can find. So that's what's left of Tyr, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through it. Fine, then. You know what? It must be in the pantry. I'll just look quietly. What are you thinking, brother? thinking I want things to be the way they were well I'd like to climb a tree again certain ships have sailed I just wish Atreus were not so restless I care only for your safety I know brother but Holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Aye, ah, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound?
glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. They seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep. Just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened. And I need answers. Chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! Yo. So, what's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. <laughs> oh, lift's broken. Accidental magic's not I'll all. Fix it. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah, but I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. Look it out. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's <gasps> venomous? <gasps> Shoot the barrel. It's got sandstone on it, too. <gasps> Or not. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Well, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarfed. <laughs> Looks like there's something hidden by the horsemen. If only I had a way to burn this. Yes. If only your father were here. That's not what I said. It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. Careful. So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? It's me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching. Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. 
Okay, here goes nothing! Yup! Uh, okay, right. I'll just... Take this, you dirty pile of rocks! Ah, don't touch me! Wow, Sindri. Harsh words. I'm sure he'll recover. Shut up. Do you want my help or not? All right, all right. Patience! <laughs> Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. The lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you no. That's not weird at all.
all you're gonna say? Well, don't let us keep you up or anything. Good talk. <coughs> Ironwood. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Door's frozen. Maybe I can. Ah! Would you just let me do it? So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrow. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Quite enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. Oh, oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Bessel, I wish it did. <laughs> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. <clears throat> yeah. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another way around. in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. What 
are you waiting for? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. <gasps> Living is an option. Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. I need to destroy the sonic piece first. Need to get a different angle on the soundstone. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me... Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Oh! <laughs> 
Medusa! going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? I wish I had a compass. Ugh, nightmare!
I got this, right? Yeah, I got this. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes! I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts! Oh. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets? I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too! Yep, that's the door. Hey, Freya. What, can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah, I should probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this. Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, <clears throat> nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? 
Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us, offered peace if we don't move against him. <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim. We learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, and you've already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Tear is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Sword of Farm. Impossible. The Nine Realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time, which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. Good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me. How did it feel to run on chaos? I...
I just fixed that! The upper! I still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Give me a second! I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need to... Ugh. Do they ever quit? Yama! Alphon Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? Now? Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. Yeah, What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope, that was worse. Ugh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? Coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to... Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. 
But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Pee? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. <clears throat> Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. I'm sure where I'm planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of... Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. <laughs> My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tames the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. 
I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock... Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to him. the mirror. I know. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a of tree. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. What the floating one? Freya's brother. 
How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanian traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who breathe the light. Right side, brother. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for... I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father... Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. The light! Ah. Ow. 
I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. <laughs> After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. It's just to let these two do their thing, brother. Whoa, is that a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> Give him what for? Find you! on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean we can't disfigure some architecture. This way, shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alpine's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. So if these elves use the light to so if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the dark elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Another of Cavassier's poems. Gotta be a better angle on that twilight zone. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Watch your legs! <laughs> Oh! 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 
enemy on the left. <laughs> 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 fighting. Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. The Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. I'm not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Uh.
Back to it then. continue our set, yes? lyricism from the mind of Kvasia. I suppose I'll leave you to it. other side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. Hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Guess that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. <laughs> Bartle Yobos <laughs> counterpart. Dark Elf King. He's in the light now too. doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight to get them. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. It's the light orb! Find you! It's coming! statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I 
I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm, Crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Feels even taller. <laughs> I can't believe all this was down here. And here we go again. <laughs> Door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield, but that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had we not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed, but now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his time. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfine, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. Ah, 
shield moved. That looks right. Job, brother. This way. We're almost there. <gasps> Do you still hear something wounded out there? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate. Once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. And ah, uh, the light of Alfheim. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said he... went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Roa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf came... 
I thought all the Dark Elves were... Here? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. At your service. Want something in particular?
You've been quite the archaeologist, haven't you? Have we more to talk about? That ought to hurt him. Whatever you need, I'll create. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. A good fit. Wear it with pride. What can I make for you? And Atreus? Kratos? This must be from Alfheim. Explains the, uh, sand. Glad to take that off your hands and wash it. And it's covered in blood. Thanks. Oh. Got time to chat? Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs> Go! 
Four more arrive. <laughs> Okay. Focus, Atreus. This way. Yeah! <laughs> 
Far from over. I. It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Oh! Ah! Hold on! Over here! You're chased! Hey, Tyr? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Oh! A dark elf assault? How fortuitous! <laughs> I'm so sick of fighting out. Can I just leave it alone? <laughs> 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 Oh! <laughs> 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 
we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Tear, we... Open the gateway, please. yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. Enough about hide. We will return home. Very well. I suppose the desert will keep. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well, you know how to reach me now. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Address. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are, a meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... To use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... Ah, oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My 
words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much strong. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you want? Let's go! Duma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Whatever. Don't run off! Whatever. Whatever. Can you tell me whatever. where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please. Please wait. Please. 